power. What is foreign power? Well, here is what foreign power is. This is an example of foreign power. Another locomotive on a different railroad that's not from that railroad. So I'm going to say this is probably BNSF and that's a CSX leader behind it which is probably not from that railroad. It probably is BNSF. So basically foreign power is not from other countries. It's just from railroads. So make sure you get that right first. But they'll either this is just what they do it usually is just a cost saving mode because what they want to do they want to keep as much money as they can but they'll probably pay back CSX or Norfolk Southern or BNSF if they use their engine on their own railroad they'll pay them back by using their engines on their railroads or straight by cash or credit or whatever but right here this is not exactly foreign power but it can also be on different railroads and I didn't notice that this one wasn't right here's foreign power well I think but it's different engines so right there you can tell there's a CSX behind the BNSF and a Norfolk Southern behind it same with right here well why is that well that's because they need to do this to get to other railroads well other railroads like say a train comes down from Chicago on the Union Pacific down to Birmingham Birmingham Alabama and needs to go east to say Charleston South Carolina well, instead of switching out onto their railroad and put a whole new engine on it, they might as well just take it to Charleston with that BNSF or Union Pacific uh, unit. And they'll take it there so it saves time. Because there's only 12 hours for every shift that conductors and engineers can actually work. So, they have to use that time as quickly as possible. And when they run out of crew hours, that eats up more of their time by having to sit in sidings and wait on a crew bus to come take over or do a crew swap. So, it just takes up time to switch engines out. That's why foreign power is on other railroads. So... They just, it's really a cost saving move. And it's also can, like, it can really help um, for them, for the other railroads. But, well, the thing is, some foreign power is not always, like, sometimes you could have all foreign power on a CSX train. Say you have a CSX train, you have all BNSF or Norfolk Southerns at, or Union Pacific, the whole thing, there's no CSX unit on it, that probably pays even more because they have to take uh, engine power and time. Like a Kansas City Southern engine or whatever. Like the former Tallahassee sub or now the Florida Gulf and Atlantic Railroad actually now takes um, CSX trains go down it but that's foreign power on the former Tallahassee sub it doesn't really look like it but it is because CSX sold the line in 2019 to the Florida Gulf and Atlantic which now owns the Tallahassee sub which was not even a premium route. It didn't get positive train control, still has the 1950 era signals, and it definitely does not have PTC anywhere, and it all has house tracks on almost every single siding. So, also, some foreign power can be on different trains. Manifest, you'll probably see it, 
or definitely ethanol trains because they all pretty much come out of Bedford Park in, in Chicago. So you're going to see it a lot. Or you may see CN on those same trains or Union Pacific or BNSF. But you'll probably not see Norfolk Southern. It, the most app you're going to see Norfolk Southern is if there's like a yard like, say, Selma. For an example, because they have a big yard there, well, pretty average sized yard, and then right there is the CSX crossing. They have two connection tracks, or actually they have three, but the one that goes from the east to the north, on the northeast uh, connection track is the least used, and it's a 25 mile an hour jointed rail. But the one that goes from on the northwest corner is continuous welded rail because Amtrak takes that route and some other trains. But then the one that goes on southeast quadrant is jointed rail, but it also has a big uh, plant there. So a lot of trains come out on the Norfolk Southern on the CSX with NS foreign power on it. Foreign power is kind of similar to distributed power, except it's just another railroad. It's not actually, like, you'll see probably a foreign power d DPU. It's really anything. You'll probably about 3 out of 10 times see foreign power. You don't see it that much, but you definitely see it every once in a while. So, like... It's probably, you're probably pretty apt to run into foreign power because where I am in, in uh, North Carolina, I actually, because the line that runs, runs across the CSX A line down to Wilmington and then the other way runs up to Catawba and Spartanburg and Chester and all these other and originally into Atlanta. And Atlanta is a lot of Norfolk Southern traffic. So you'll probably see Norfolk Southern a little bit on that line. Or you'll see Union Pacific because I know I've seen a couple Union Pacifics go down uh, in Marshville. So you'll definitely probably see something around here. But it's not very apt to see something around here because it's really kind of just in the wilderness, and there's not really any other lines around here. There's the North Carolina Railroads, and then there's Norfolk Southern, up about an hour from Marshville and Monroe and Wadesboro, and then there's the CSX A line, Richmond to Tampa, about an hour and a half east of here, and then there's the CSX Bypass A line, about 40 minutes away from here so it really depends on where it is uh foreign power is pretty rare to actually see about you're not gonna really see it but if you really looked for it you really took a lot of time to look for it you'll definitely find it it's just not really easy it takes a lot of time to find it because you're all pretty much only gonna see if you really want to see foreign power, or try to anyway, you want to go to big junctions like Waycross, or Birmingham, or I don't know, probably like, probably even Selma, Richmond, um, uh, Roanoke, Virginia, there's a lot of stuff there on the Norfolk Southern, maybe Altoona, Pennsylvania, you'll see a lot up through there, uh, so you really will, but it's not it's not very uh, rare, but it's not very <laughs> common either. So you gotta be on the lookout because trains. If you don't have your scanner with you, or you're not on the near the pretty much near the track the all the time, they will just pass you, and you'll never know. That's why you always have to be alert and ready to get out to the tracks. If you're doing something else, you need to make sure you're there. <laughs> so you don't miss anything that could be potentially there or anywhere else there so that's what i say what is foreign power it's a power from another railroad not countries 
just another railroad. CSX, you'll probably see another engine like a BNSF, Union Pacific, Kansas City Southern, so on and so forth. But that's pretty much what I have to say about foreign power. Um, if you, if I missed anything, write it in the comments below. Make sure you hit that like button if you want and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate that. See you guys in the next video. Sorry that there was no video to eight. I've been busy. But see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.